Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gamers. Some of you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you with a Let's Play episode of Major Minor. It's been a little while, so y'all just go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. Alrighty. <clears throat> well, looks like we might be going for a for Aquila this run, so I guess this is an Aquila route. Alright. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, there we go. Load. Yes. Alright, let's jump right in. Maid Cafe, you say? I hi I'd highly advise against that. They're just a waste of time. Plus, you two don't look the type. Maid cafes attract a certain clique. What's that supposed to mean? Whatever you want it to mean, I guess. Hmm. Thanks for making plans without me, though. It's nice to know my input is valuable. Well, what did you have in mind? Nothing, really. I guess that's where you get look get off lucky. It's been it's been something off uh, there's been something off uh, there's been something of a delay. You won't meet Clace for a day or two. So my new task is simple. Waste time. I'm supposed to take you where you want. That is, until things are back on track. Wait, then why were you mad? We got to choose where to go. You didn't even have any ideas, Rook. I'm changing the subject now. <clears throat> if you want to go to a maid cafe, well, I know a few hot ones to attend. Most of them are in, ele most of them are in Electric Town. Electric Town? You don't mean... Ekiabara? Yeah, I do. We all spend lots of time there. It's a place to be for tourists. That and Clace loves the atmosphere. A lot of his outings are to Akiba Aki Akihabara. Wow! We'll get along great then. But you mentioned something came up? Is everything okay? Why the delay? Oh, it's fine. Clace got into a fight. His and his tour manager disagree a lot. But, si but Singe always manages to quell him. Oh. I hope it's nothing too serious. It'll be fine. Clace is a hothead. It'll be fine after venting and relaxing. Anyway, we better get moving. We won't get anywhere standing there all day. It's high time we ditch this station. Would you like to save your game? Oh, yes. Yes, I would. Uh, let's see. It would be this one right here. Yes. And that is the end of that. Okay. All right. After a few moments of walking, we exit the station. I feel a soft breeze and take a sharp inhalation. It's nice to feel some fresh air after all that time. The plane and train ride here were definitely stuffy. Interesting. The air here feels different. Not in a bad way, I mean, just different. Though it's probably expected in a foreign country. The air almost smells cleaner than it does back home. Whoa! What's with that smell? Know what you're used to, huh? Don't worry, you'll get used to it. Just, to, just enjoy the fresh air. You deserve it. They did rush you onto that train, right? No time to relax after that long flight. But you're good now. Relax and enjoy it. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, wait! Does that mean we're on the same plane? That's so cool! What are the odds? Actually, it's incredibly probable. We both won the same contest, after all. It likely expends to bought stuff in bought stuff in sets. I'll say this though, I don't want to downplay Keela. Pretty solid, actually. We both won the same contest, after all. Enter Rook, the social assassin. Hoarding out the things we don't dare to. I didn't think of it that way, I guess. He looks defeated. See, that's why I refrain. Well, we shouldn't stand around. We didn't leave just to waste time out here. We got a little bit of a surprise for you. Remember how we said things would be quiet? Well, Clace went out and pulled some strings. The kind of strings that get you a limo. We have a limo? Like, just for us? Heh. <laughs> that was a pleasant surprise, actually. Rick gives us a soft smile as he says the word limo. I can tell he's been waiting. He's been, I've been tell he's been waiting to let out that secret. Yeah, something like that. We'll, we'll use it like you. We'll lose it. We'll use it to move you around town, at least until we leave Tokyo behind. But even then, we'll just rent a new one. This tour is going all sorts of places. You'll get to travel the world in style. Mood completely reversed. Thanks, Rook. Should we get going then? Where is it? Well, actually, it's right there. Rook points to a limo parked just a few feet away. I never expected we get to we get to drive in that, especially after they mentioned the low key aspect. Well, well played. Definitely off to a good start now. He knocks on the window, calling to someone inside. After a few moments pass, a new face enters the scene. So, you two are it. Oh, hello, hot Griffin. Yeah, I get maybe no. no she may, actually, I don't know. She may not even be a Griffin. All right, uh, one second, y'all. Coffee time. 
Oh, it's a good coffee. Yeah, I guess. Two winners, remember? We're not here to visit a chocolatier. Not what I meant. Just expected something else. What does she mean by that? Well, you two can call me Jade. It's a pleasure to meet both of you. The contest just had a year of hype. I built up this weird image in my mind, expected the winners to be larger than life. I apologize, for, I apologize if I offended you in any way. Surely you can understand what I meant. We often have these sorts of preconceptions. I suppose I know what you mean. <clears throat> no offense taken, either. It's nice to meet you, too. But speaking of preconceptions, can you tell us a little bit about Clace? I feel like the image in my mind is wrong. You've met him, right? He, you must have all kinds of inside knowledge. I see him all the time. But yeah, many people get him wrong. Here's a few words I'd here's a few words I'd use to describe him. Self-absorbed, egotistical, holier than thou, arrogant, disrespectful, he's the worst. Excuse me? It was a joke, Keela. I'm still learning this humor thing. But I guess I have a few more steps to go. Was her definition of a joke? She doesn't need steps, she needs leaps and bounds. This is almost certainly how rumors are started. Someone won't know she's joking and it'll spread. Brooke tries to teach me in our off time. But I guess I far from mastered it. Oh, that explains it. Rook taught her. He's the last person in the world I'd say is funny. Well, I'd appreciate an honest answer. <clears throat> of course. He can be shy and silent, but he can also be loud and outgoing. He can be polite and formal, or he can be crude and lax. He's just like any one of us. When you're up on the stage, or even when you're doing an interview, you're just putting a, you're just putting an act out for the world. I think you get along with him just fine, but I don't think you know him yet, either. The amount of people that do is very small. All right, thanks for answering. Look, sounds like he's under lots of pressure. It sucked to have an image to maintain. And about the humor thing? You're doing great. Keep learning. Whoa, Keela can lie? Thanks, Keela. It's always fun to learn. Anyways, let's get ourselves in the limo. <clears throat> we'll get this adventure started. Sounds good. I can't wait. My hype level's off the charts. Okay, we're getting an option to save it soon. I would like that. I would like that very much. Outside the courthouse. Moments later. Oh, hello there. Hot stuff. So, do you think that'll ruin Plyer? Only time will tell, Conrad. It was risky, but we succeeded. We now have our inside man. Kalen can operate from within Plyer's home. So, I have to ask, was the evidence real? It doesn't matter. It helped us. Means to an end, I believe they say. We have everything we need to take him out. I doubt Plyer will go down without a fight. It won't be pleasant for Kaelin, of, for Kaelin or Kabu. What do you think he'll do, Endymion? They'll be put into interrogation, I think. But this doesn't cause me much concern. Kaelin has been trained to resist torture. The major fact that he's inside now. The major fact is that he's inside now. We just need to wait for his correspondence. After that, we can formulate a plan. I think he'll plant some evidence. Something we can find next time we're there. An innocent visit. An incriminating find. So, Kaelin can resist torture, huh? One second now. Water time. Uh, coffee time. <clears throat> so, Kaelin can resist torture, eh? He looks pretty frail to me. And Kabu? He'll probably face the brunt of this. It's a worthy sacrifice, isn't it? Kabu did this willingly. I guess. I can see it now. Assassin Guild asks corruption, corrupt politi politician. It's got to help our reputation, right? We're the Assassin's Guild. We need to. We need to have no reputation. I guess. Just trying to make conversation. If people found out about us, they'd quickly find that the king funds us. Then he'd be the one getting ousted. Fine. So what do we do now? The player's situation will remain on standby. We must wait for instructions from Kaelin. Or until we have another off-worlder. Plyer has been more than happy to take them. With that said, the ritual is our goal. It helps us on both fronts, Conrad. The ritual? Again? You sound like you're stuck on a loop. Our track record of failure is, de is demotivating. You know how Valisquez feels about failure. But we get an off-worlder no matter what. If that happens, we bring them to Plyer. We gain his trust for these failures. It's, symbi it's symbiotic, Conrad. <clears throat> it's cold, Endymion. Yes, it gives me chills. 
He walks away, done with the conversation. Jeez, what a mentor he is. I'll never get anywhere worthwhile. Oh well, a man can dream. And Demian, wait for me! Inside the limo, party time all the time. We're led into a massive limo. Actually, emphasis on the massive. I didn't think it would be this big on the inside. Jade promptly gets situated in the driver's seat. This leaves Rook, Keela, and myself in the back. Wow, this is amazing! It's so spacious! It's so spacious, so luxurious! Huh? Oh, sorry, you two. I guess I was in my own little world. Actually, it looked like he was starting staring at Jade. I find myself questioning the relationship of these two. She quickly turns and speaks to us through the divider. So, where to? Unfortunately, we're going to a maid cafe, and no, it wasn't my idea. Spare me from any snide insults, Jade. Alright, Rook. I'll keep them inside. But I think I know which maid cafe you want. Yeah, yeah. There's no mocking, okay? This is for their benefit, not mine. I wouldn't dream of it. Thanks, Jade. It means a lot to me. Alright, let's fasten our seatbelts. Don't want anyone dying before the tour. Anyways, this is the really awkward part. Or we're supposed to bond or whatever. He cringes as he says the word bond. Instead of acknowledging that, I notice something else. I can hear some noise coming from the passenger seat. Somebody up there with Jade? I asked Rook about this. Oh, you noticed, huh? Inumi, uh, do you want to say hey? Hey! Oh, hello there. I think these are just probably just random personas of people who donated to the donated to the game. He retreats just as quickly as he appeared. Huh? I haven't the faintest idea who that was. That was Clayce's brother, Inumi. Clayce's brother? But he looks nothing... It's Clayce's brother, Inumi! Hila's right, but Rook cuts him off. Was he putting on some sort of act? If anything, it was for the Inumi's benefit. I decide to play along, as does Kila. Oh, I see. Well, that's cool. Very cool indeed. I can't tell if he's insincere or not. Well, moving on. I should go over the basics with you two. Just stuff to know where before I let you wander. Looks like an y'all coffee time. Ah. Uh. Make sure you're paying attention, all right? Feel free to take notes if you need to. <clears throat> Keela and I lean forward and listen intently. Here's a book for the both of you to have. It lists common Japanese phrases inside. I suggest learn a few common ones. Namely, I don't understand Japanese. I'm probably assuming here, so I'm sorry. But I doubt you could hold a conversation. Oh, and if the citizens call you Gaijin? Well, that's just a term of endearment. It's nice to know how Rook can be civil and polite. For once, he's actually helping us. I assumed his default mode was condescend everyone. He hands each of us a book. I put mine in my pocket. It's definitely travel-sized. I'm sure it'd, I'm sure it'd help. It was one of the things I, had, I was actually worried about. If someone tried to talk to me and I couldn't talk back. Oh, I almost forgot. There's one last thing you should know. It relates to our current events in Tokyo. It's mostly superstition, of course. But it's got everyone up in arms. So it's better that you hear it from me. What is it? The Midnight Deaths. The Midnight what? Tokyo has been hit by suicide and murder. More and more cases with each passing day. But it gets a little weirder than that. All the cases happen at midnight, like clockwork right on this dot. Are you serious? Of course I'm serious. The deaths have been mysterious in nature. No cope order for the murders, no evidence. That's why it is everybody talking. The crime scenes don't add up at all. What happened is physically impossible. But to us, that's not really important. There's something far more noteworthy, and that's when these deaths first started. What do you mean? I know it's a coincidence, but these deaths started a month ago, on the night of our arrival in Tokyo. What? Some people think the tour is an ill omen, that perhaps being here is the cause of it. What? That's not nice. Indeed. I hope that explains some things, especially why we kept our rear arrival quiet. We didn't need any more fanfare around us. Restrictions are, are even being put upon Clace, so don't feel singled out in all this. Everyone is being affected equally here. To that end, please stay quiet. Oh, ow, ow. Ow, that hurt. Okay. To that end, please stay quiet. Don't let anybody know why you're here. At least not for the next little while. He stares at me with a squinty, hateful eyes. Rub it in, Rook. I really regret breaking that NDA. 
don't worry about your enjoyment. You'll live this. You'll still. You'll still have fun. I guarantee it. There's just a few precautions to take. Later tonight, we'll get you your hotel. Everything is still on par for the green, so just don't cause any commotions, okay? Yes, of course. Don't want to make things worse. Clay's must be under enough stress as it is. Yeah, I can tell it's affecting him. It's good that you heard this from me. You know how rumors and grapevines can be. People are even saying he's the killer. They're connected to totally unrelated events. Our arrival has nothing to do with all this. But you know how that works, right? People always need something to blame. A figurehead for all their problems. I suppose that's true. But they should focus on the real culprit. Clay's is harmless. He shouldn't do that. He couldn't do that. You're telling me, but it's still odd. Suicides are happening at midnight, too. It's not just a killer, it's something else. And whatever it is, we have no idea. Some people are blaming the supernatural, but I never really believed in that stuff. Paloma slowly comes to a stop, but this just leaves us all in an awkward silence. Well, guess that means we're here. Thanks for making conversation with me, even if it was in the realm of the macabre. Yeah, could have picked a better time. Was your goal to scare us away, Rook? Because it almost worked, you know. No comment. Let's go! He leaves the limo without saying another word. For a while there, I was starting to feel free, but now I'm getting bogged down by terms and conditions. Though when I think about it, it's not too bad. I can play along if it's for the citizens' benefit, but I wanted to let it slip while we're really here. It caused a panic in the middle of, Aki of Akihabara. Well, here we are. Welcome to Akihabara. <clears throat> Just watch your heads as you exit. Wouldn't want, to, wouldn't want to bang them on the way out. We both nod and do as instructed. Electric Town, here we come. Yes, perfect timing, actually. Alright. Alright, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, leave a super thanks, or tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!